Well, youths have been urged to avoid being used as instruments of destruction and division, but should rather see themselves as advocates of peace. Rafi Hamid has the story. International Day of Peace is celebrated on the 21st of September every year. It is a United Nations celebration dedicated toward peace. In Oshogo, these youths organize a peace walk to mark this year's event. After moving around some major streets, they returned to Nelson Mandela Freedom Park for lecture. That is the reason why we are here, even to, to promote peace in the states, in the country at large. Today we are working for peace, telling people that if you can able to be in peace with your neighbors, with your friends, even with your enemy, then there can be a peace in our nation. So with me, I always believe that peace is possible. There is hardly no country in the world that is not experiencing one challenge or the other. These youths want leaders across the world to work together to achieve global peace. I'm still using the medium to, uh, uh, to let everyone across borders of life understand that, that peace is harmonious well-being and freedom from hostile aggression. That peace is when people are able to resolve their conflict and can come together to improve the quality of their lives. As a government, we also feel that we should identify with uh, non-paramilitary organizations, society organizations, to celebrate International Peace Day. Because today is significant. It's a day that even the warring countries normally case fire. It's a day that we think we should use to tell the people of the state of Fortune that there cannot be development anywhere without peace. And they also emphasize the need for political, traditional, and religious leaders in Nigeria to always preach peace. The theme for this year's celebration is shaping peace together. The fundamental of development, no doubt, is peace, which is the essence for organizing this program. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Ushugu.